so guys this is another week of the weekly forest forecast so you know i told you guys last week that this dsy is still strong but i believe that this level will break you know this for our and you know this for our time frame and then price is at this level then so price is here so i told you that this level is not strong this supply level is not strong that it will break and then fast forward to last week we saw this level breaking to the upside and price uh test this area and reject going to the new week i believe that us dollar is still strong you get so one of the reason is uh, you know the war going on in the middle east and then us dollar is also a stable one currency you understand if you look at gold you see that gold is skyrocketing it's just breaking or i you get so this is as a result of the war and then if you look at btc2 btc is uh is going up so most of this thing and then on friday we are supposed to see gpy weakness if you look at the market very well you see that uh as far as that dpy index is down you get we still have some strength still coming in back to that uh dpy and it's as a result of dpy also is also a part of the stable currency and then probably next week we might see uh dpy strength coming to play out in the market and if you see swiss franc too swiss franc is somehow strong yeah if you check aud ctf euro ctf then probably can ctf so all this uh uh what is making all the uh the the one in the middle is, is what is given all those several currency strength you understand and then uh next week what are we looking at next week so on the us dollar i don't think we should see uh more weakness in the us dollar very soon because uh, the election is very very close very very close it's not up to three weeks or probably maybe yeah I don't think it's up to three weeks again. So I still believe that we should still see US dollar coming back and we test this 104.061. So we should still see US dollar coming back to this uh, to this particular area before we can see any uh retracement. Probably maybe back to this area in the long term or back to this uh, particular area. And then if it's going to uh pull back next week. I don't think we should see it beyond this area and then we'll see price coming back to 104.061. So that's what I'm looking at in the market based on what is happening right now. So on Monday, we don't have much on Monday. There's no economic activities on Monday. On Tuesday too, apart from Bank of England governor's speech, I don't think we have. And then we have... Uh, ECB president, the Madam Lagarde, we have our speech on the, on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have card monetary policy report on Wednesday, and they also want to cut their interest rate by 50 basis points. These are the issues. You know, last week I told you that you will want to cut their interest rate by 25 basis points, and then I told you that this will affect the currency. It affected it before even before the news you get so it is called the anticipated news you understand so you know market will be buying that anticipate into the end to the anticipation before they actually caught tariff you understand so the same thing going for the canadian dollar now i think monday tuesday we might see canadian dollar weakness because 50 basis points is high you get is what market sentiment might be pricing before the actual news so if they now cut the interest rate by 50 basis points we might not see much reaction but if they mistakenly hike or mistakenly drop 4.25 as forecast then you might see canadian dollar strength and that strength will be massive so moving forward we have uh at 3 p.m on wednesday we have ecb president speech again we have bank of canada press conference and then uh, we have some minor news too and then bank of england speed so on thursday we have the euro manufacturing pmi the flash pmi uh the german and then the BRICS summit so thursday too we have the pounds 
slash manufacturing PMI and flat flat service. Pay. So these are high impact news. These are high impact news. So I, I think Thursday next week is for most of the currencies flash manufacturing PMI. Yet and we have the new home sale coming out from the US dollar too. So on Friday we have Canadian dollar retail sales coming out too. So I think Canadian dollar is one of the pair or one of the currencies you'll be looking out for to trade if you want volatility next week. That is why I love those that trade, if not all PS that trade most of the major PS because each week you see a currency that uh who who, who Will be volatile it gets according to the economic activities they will have in that uh in that week so this will give you an edge in the market you understand so that's that for next week that is that so i believe that uh euro canadian dollar us dollar canadian dollar AUD canadian dollar should be what you might uh, be looking for next week and then uh for me I don't think I have them in my watch list, but I will check. Uh, and then uh, next week also focus on the US dollar and then um, pounds. It gets US dollar and pounds. So me not putting Canadian dollar in my watch list. If I see any movements on the on Monday, prior to what I said that might see a weaker Canadian dollar, and then I actually see an entry. Trust me, I will enter. So let's go to the individual currency. So, you know, what I told you last week was that gold is going to break this all time. I, if you watch, if you went go back and watch last week video, and then we saw the all time I break and then we are yeah, in the new eye. And this pattern is what I, this pattern, I love this pattern so much. This flag pattern, it's one of my best pattern I trade in the market, especially in an uptrend. I may not actually trade it in a downtrend, but in an uptrend like this, this is what I like. I like when price gave me an uptrend then gave me uh what a retracement here and then there is a breakout a retest this is one of my best pattern and then you know up that move will surely come it is 90 percent to be sincere it is 90 percent the only thing that can make that that pattern feel is news but most of the time news even confirm that pattern news mostly confirm the pattern and then you will see if very long candle that will break this to the upside. So on gold now, if you ask me what you are going to trade on gold, I don't think I have an answer to it. But if you are the type of person that uh, trade one minute time frame, so what you just need to do is probably be looking for a rejection, maybe a retest, probably at this area or at this area for you to go to continue buying. You understand? So. Just be waiting for any retracement you see an opportunity for you to uh, to enter and then uh, continue buying uh good right now so i don't think there is any any sell buyers in view on good but any opportunity you see any retracement you see is an opportunity for you to look for a buy buyers on good to the upside so that's what i can say for now on good for now, I don't have a strong bias on good for now. I don't have because as I can say, it's just breaking or high. So the next one I want to check is TPP US dollar. So I have two bias on TPP US dollar, but that two bias is with a solid reason. So if you come back to this area, you see that this trend line self has supports around this area. So this are outer trend line. So if you put another one, we have the inner trend line. If you study your trend line very well. This is an inner trend line with price bounce from. And if you want to zoom this very well, you see that this is a supply level. And on Friday, when I saw the supply level, I put this thing here and I sold from the stop. So probably price might actually retest this area of support right here. If price retests this area, then I'll be going out with one ratio three risk to reward on Monday because I'm still in this trade. So, which means that if price come back here, then uh, we might see a bounce that will break this level to the upside. That is number one. Number two is that price might actually break this uh this outer trend line, this inner trend line, and then we might see support level at the 
outer trend line, which price might reject from and then my start price might start going to the upside. And another thing I wanted to look at here is that this area might actually serve as the area of liquidity because if you are buying at this area, putting this area as area of, uh, of support, your stop loss have it as number one. If you are selling this breakout here, yeah, putting your take profit as uh, your stop loss here, yeah, your what your stop loss as it also. So which means that on Monday you might see price breaking this area, and if price break this supply level to the upside, I will start buying DBP USD because that move is going to be long. If price break that area to the upside, this move is going to be long, and we might see a break of this uh, of this but in all i'm either looking if this place is going to be with us i'm either looking for a retest at this area or at this area before we see a move to the offside on tbp us dollar so the next one is uh is euro us dollar and if you check the daily time frame this is daily time frame demand level price as a uh, as a uh, bounce at this daily time frame demand level as you can see price has bounced off at that particular area, which means that there are two things I'm looking. Is it that we, we actually see break breakout at uh, Monday, closes bearish, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, coming back to retest this area, and then we'll see price coming back up right here. Or we'll see a break on Monday, we'll see a break of this area on Monday. And one of the reasons why I'm not really uh, big on the on the buy side is because the uh, uh, because of this candle this candle can also serve as a reversal candle and then even if you check all this area we still have you get there's still a demand level at this area which price might actually still come to retest you get which price can still come to let's say okay price can still come here come back and then we we'll see a move to the upside or the yeah, we we'll see a move to the upside you understand or if you actually see the big picture so this is the worst scenario that i think can happen so this trend line also serves as a support level which means our price can reject here and then we might see a good test of this level and then start seeing the us dollar going to the upside so on monday what you need to do is um watch how price reacts to this level to this level of 1.08735 if i mistakenly see a break of this level to the upside then i think i'll be buying and then one of the reasons is that uh i've actually put a trend here which means that uh there's a probability that uh we might see a break of this trend line and if this trend line break first and then this resistant level break so i'll be waiting for a retest for me towards to buy and then my first tip of it can be around this area. You understand? So that's what I'm looking at on EU US dollar. But if there is a rejection below this area, then I'll be looking for a sell setup back to this area or probably back to this low. You get as the first take profit. And then if still move further back to this uh, to this low. So on EUDUS, I entered the EUDUS sale on Friday. So probably before then, on Thursday, this area is a support level. And then I try to buy at this area and price move in my direction. I break even, price come back to eat my break even. So then I saw that price has actually break below this area and then that's retest this. And then, you know, there is uh, even a supply area around this area, which price rejects from. So which means that, I'm on sale on EDS going to next week and then stay in little profit. You know, I actually see this price coming back to retest 0.66481, uh, which I'll be taking one which will take the risk to reward from that particular trade right there. And then as you can see, this is what price is saying here. Uh we have a breakout you get, and then if you come here, you come to this zone right here. There's something I saw so right here. So which means that the higher probability of this selling, <clears throat> the probability of this selling is high. You understand? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the probability of this selling is somehow high back to this uh, 
to this support level then we might actually see price uh bounce from this and then start seeing price going to the upside from there but for now i'm i'm, I'm on sale but on monday if you now see that price hit my sl and settle above 0 0.67191 then we should see price back to 0 0.60 eight four seven that is our going to the next week also on SD usd <clears throat> if i tell you since when I've, I've been on this cell you won't believe i've been on this cell since uh since friday october 11th yeah since 11th and today is 19 right so on monday will be 21 very funny stuff that is 10 days so probably we might see the volatility i'm looking for on friday that will eat my tp i don't know i just hold it there so which means that i'm selling from this area and then back to this uh particular area right there so my solid buyers on this one is sell you understand my solid buyers on snd usd is sell but on monday i will only be buying if price come back above 0.61159 that's when i will be buying if price don't come above this area i won't be buying i will still even if price come back here there's still a possibility that price will still sell you understand it might just be a retracement even if price come back here still a probability that price might still do what even if price come let's say comes back to this area there's still a probability that price might still what buy might still sell back to this level but if price break this area to the upside i don't think we'll have a sell because uh, has break this at uh, this particular area and you get this solid support level and then uh, this it, it becomes a resistance at this particular area and then we we'll know how to enter our buy position at that area so on EUD, i still believe that uh euro weakness might actually continue so which means that i'm selling EUD at market price on monday if the four hour closes be rich so which means that below this area i'm actually selling and then first take profit will be 1.61139 second take profit will be 1.60172 and then if there's a breakout that's when i'll change my bias probably maybe to buy bias or just ignore that uh, that pair on AUD dollar australian dollar canadian dollar i think i will be a self setup on AUD Canadian dollar. That's what I'm actually looking at. So on Monday we should see price. Uh, you know, see this resistance level. You know, price keep declining as it touches this, and then and this you get. So which means that and then if you see as price decline, it doesn't mean that price doesn't take any liquidity before it decline. You get. So if we put this in one hour time frame. You see what I'm talking about? The price decline here. You know, some people might have been selling here and price came back to take this out and then, you know, price uh, come back lower. If you see this one also, you see that we have equal I here. So price did like, uh, it's want to start selling, reject this here and then came back to take this liquidity and then add the trend line also and then get so which means that around this area too uh we might start seeing price coming back to this particular area 0 0.91950 so this is what i'm looking at going to the next week around this environment so i'm looking for a sell setup on AUD canadian dollar probably uh to this low right here or to this uh support level at this area so watch as price react probably maybe four hour can do on monday then you'll see how price react to that particular area um pounds aud so let's wait for okay on um, pounds aud so i'm actually looking for a sell setup too because as you can see price keep rejecting this area price keep rejecting this area which means that if you see uh um, I will be. I will actually be looking for a breakout to the downside. Yeah, like this area, 
and if it break out with this then i'll be looking for a sell back to 93400 and then if the 93400 break then i'll be looking for price to reject and then see price coming back to uh 91500 or 9200 so that's what i'm looking at on the aud a sell setup from this particular uh resistant level where price keep rejecting from so let's see maybe price will break this to the downside and if price does not break it if price break this then i will actually you know you know understand so this is the weekly forest forecast i think we have one here to go that is aud swiss franc so like i said uh if you see the chf on friday it's strong on friday you get due to the geopolitical uh tension so probably this is fun and then anytime there is a geopolitical tension like this you see the commodity currency weakness it gets it's weak that is how you see uh the likes of s and d and then uh canadian dollar weakness and then most of this uh against most of these are uh, several currency so which means that uh probably i'm waiting for sale on uh on a this is fun right price might with this and then you see the rejection coming back to this low and then my see price coming back to this uh, to this low again which means that this first take profit might be here and then second take profit actually be here so this are the pair on my watch list so don't forget to subscribe if you are gaining value with this every week make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you share and then there are links to verify profile too in the description don't just open any profile make sure they are reputable so i have some reputable profile in the description so you can choose any one of them they are all reputable and then register and then you know when you trade profile now you withdraw there's a link to a verified broker in the description where you can actually open and then register with uh with hfm so good luck guys don't forget your risk management don't forget to trade safely and then don't forget to use your protective stop loss never remove stop loss or never shift stop loss. some of you have found in the bad habit of removing your stop loss it will still reverse it will still reverse until you drain your asset so good luck guys see you next week